which means what happens if there is a failure with one of these connections for any one of our particular sites. So to test this out, we're going to shut down one of the connections for our sites for its internet connection to make it no longer functional. And we're gonna shut down the interface of gigabit zero one on our internet router to bring down the internet path for site number one. And when we do that, we want to see what happens. Well, with equal cost multipath, that traffic should be automatically rerouted across the other path, which would be our MPLS or WAN2 path. So to test everything out, we're gonna go back here and just take a look at the dashboard so that we get to see what is happening behind the scenes. Because we have our two edge devices are up and running. We have two control plane connections. Okay, so let's go to our internet router. And we're gonna go ahead, as I mentioned before, we're going to shut down port number one and let's see what happens. Okay, so that is shut down. Let's move this aside here. The interface is down on the internet connection. And let's confirm what happens with the virtual PC at site number one. And you see that there were little drops, but it is able to resume its connection, its pin connection to that destination PC. So now let's see what's happening behind the scenes because we shut that down, but we as a network engineer will likely get a alert that one of the interfaces is down for one of our sites. So we wanna kinda of see what that experience would be. So let's first minimize that, and here everything will be fine until the notifications start appearing. And speak of the devil, here we are. So here we still have two edge devices that are up and running, but you see that our control status has changed, that we have one control connection that is up and one that is partial. Well, this makes sense because edge device number two is functional, but there is partial connections for edge device number one. It's not completely down, it is partial because we have dual paths, internet and WAN2. So if I see partial, then I know that, well, all of our edge devices are up and running, but there is very likely a connection that is down, one of the connections. So it's not completely a automatic failure. We also see that for the partial WAN connectivity will also change here as well. Therefore, what I can do is I can click on partial, for example, and that would tell us exactly what's going on, that the affected device is something with edge device number one, that it has a total of two connections, but only one is working. So at least we know the problem is somewhere with the edge one. And with that information, we could actually now go back to monitor, go to network, and we still see that our edge device is reachable, so that's not really a problem, especially when we have dual paths in our environment. And of course, you see that will affect the number of BFD sessions, because remember, we have two of them, public internet, MPLS, but only one is functional. So if I go into VH01, I can, of course, get more information of what is happening. So I can say, okay, let's look at the WAN connections again. So let's first look at the T-log. And doing that, you can say, oh, okay, so now the MPLS connection is perfectly fine, but the state for that public internet connection, that T-log, it is showing down. So there's something with that particular connection. If I go to tunnel, that will show more or less similar information, I guess, in terms of we see a down state for that public internet connection for site number one. And if we go to troubleshooting here, and this simulates the flows again, and let's say that from our virtual network with an ID of one, communicating from the land facing interface, from that user computer at that site, talking to that remote computer at site number two, for any application, we run that, you will now see that only one path is visible. It's saying that this connection is working, but going over the MPLS path. There is no multiple paths that exist, only a single path. 